All right, welcome back to Leading Through Serving, and this is the Logos Bible Software Training. I am Pastor John. I am your trainer. Hopefully, you've gone through the previous four sessions, and they've been helpful for you. In this session, we're going to move right down our options here and look at the Documents feature, the Documents feature. We've talked about your library, 70 free resources. We talked about how to search. We talked about the different versions of the Bible you have and how to search the Bible. We looked at the fact book uh, last time around, talked about Caesarea Philippi. Well, this time we're going to look at your documents feature, documents feature. And as always, if you want to pull something into your main screen here, you click it and you drag it over. Now, if you drag it halfway, you see it's only going to take up half the screen. I always encourage you to drag it so it takes up the full screen. Now, our documents feature here is blank. Yours should be too. And you're going to try this new documents feature that I want to look at today. And that is your passage list, your passage list. Open that up for me. And you're asking probably what is the passage list? Pastor John, I'm glad you asked. Have you ever been reading an article online or reading a book, maybe a Kindle book, something that is on a digital document? And you're saying, man, I sure wish I could pull all the passages that this particular article or book references and put them in one list that I can kind of run through and look at as I'm reading through the book, the chapter or the actual article. Well, I got some good news for you. So so let's type in here. You got to title your passage list when you do start one. We're going to title this one Shield of Faith. OK, and you'll see why we'll do that in just one moment. So we have our entry for Shield of Faith here. And let's say we're reading a Kindle book. Um, this book is called Moral Vision of the New Testament. It's a great book uh, written by Richard Hayes. And it talks about ethical dilemmas in the Bible. Well, this one is about divorce and remarriage. And he wants to deal with five texts. We, he says there are five significant passages in the New Testament that address the issue of divorce. And so he has those five passages here. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to hit the copy button. That's what copy looks like in the Kindle. It has been copied. So once I copy this, I'm going to go over to my um, Lagos, back to Lagos and that Shield of Faith entry. And I'm going to click this add drop down and it's going to say add passages from and you want to click on clipboard. Watch what happens. Here's where the magic happens. Oh. Five passages that are mentioned in the book that I just referenced that are about divorce. So it Jesus talks about divorce in Matthew, Mark 10, Matthew 19, Matthew 5, and Luke. And then Paul talks about it in 1 Corinthians. Do you see how powerful this search feature is? And if you want to open this in your preferred Bible, you can just click on open all. And here's what it's going to do. It's going to open all of your references to that particular topic. So what we pulled from our Kindle is Matthew 5, Matthew 19, Mark 10, and Luke 16. As you can see, I cannot scroll because this is filtered by the list that I just opened up. Now, if I want to go back to my regular Bible, this hyperlink up here, remove filter, takes me right back to my regular Bible. But this list, you can either look at it here or you can open it in your passage list or you can export it and print it. For those of you who like paper, you can print as shown on screen and hit that print button. It's going to print to whatever your copier is, or you can also send it to a Microsoft document. I'm not going to do it now, but if you click this, it'll open up your Microsoft Word and place all those passages in there. How incredible is that how about that now that's a kindle book but what about a random article that you find on the internet well we can do that too so let's go new passage list uh, i want to talk about the shield of faith i was supposed to talk about divorce and remarriage in this one i want don't want to mislabel that okay <laughs> so first one marriage and divorce this one's going to be shield of faith 
And uh, Paul talks about this in Ephesians 6, right? He talks about us carrying the shield of faith so we can withstand the fiery darts of the enemy. There's an article on got questions about the shield of faith. What is the shield of faith? It says. And so here's the answer that they provide. They have a couple of verses here and then they have verses here, 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 here. All these hyperlink verses. Usually you have to click on them. They'll take you to a separate website. But if you go through, highlight all of that, click the copy button and go back to your Bible. Add from the clipboard because the clipboard is your copy. Look at that. This is the, the main passage on the shield of faith. And then they go through different pieces in the Old Testament and New Testament that help you understand what the shield of faith is and what overcoming is. That's just a game changer for anybody who reads articles and get frustrated with this idea of trying to figure out how to look up the verses. You got your paper Bible. You got the article. You can put all of it in one place here in Lagos just by simply copying and pasting the text and Lagos will pull all the verses from that text and you will be well on your way to understanding whatever topic it is that you're addressing. So we just did two um, marriage and divorce shield of faith is going to show up in your documents tab next time you open documents. So if I close this and then open my documents, uh oh, I didn't drag and drop, drag and drop it over. <laughs> uh, you're going to see shield of faith, marriage, divorce. When you open it, it's going to show those passages. What a way to build a library of topics that you're interested in. This is free in Lagos. This is the documents feature. We've gone through several of these already, but we still got so many more to go. Looking forward to jumping into our next session. Looking forward to it. Let's go ahead and dig into our next session. Hit that next button. Hit that subscribe button because this is getting good. All right, y'all. Grace and peace.